Well, hello everybody, I'm Jay Leonard J. It's showdown today. We're gonna figure out if I should get this amp, that amp, or that amp. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rufus Guitar Shop Showdown. Uh, it's kind of my new favorite segment, and today's actually also brought to you by Tone King Amplification. Very excited about this one. I have three different amplifiers on the docket today by Tone King Amps. I got the Tone King Sky King, I got the Tone King Imperial, and I got the Tone King uh, Falcon Grande. Now, if you've watched the page, you've probably seen me use all three of these amps in different demos and different videos. Today is the day of reckoning. Today's the day where I figure out which one's the one that's staying here in the studio. I'm really excited to get this done. I'm using a Friedman vintage S guitar and uh, hopefully uh, we'll all agree <laughs> in this episode on what is the better amp. It's gonna be a tough one because I love them all. Let's plug in and get to work. Well, let's go start off with the amp that made Tone King popular. This is the Imperial and oh lordy is this a beautiful amp. If there was a beauty competition, Oh my gosh, this might be the winner over here. Uh, one custom voiced Celestian 12 inch speaker here. Uh, there's two channels. This is the uh, Fender Deluxe Reverb 6v6 kind of thing. On the other side, it's the Tweed Deluxe. And then as you turn up that mid bite, you get some martially more forward mids, nasty guitar tones. Lovely bias tremolo. Uh, in the back, there's also an attenuator in this thing. It's their Iron Man attenuator, some of the best uh, attenuators in the business. Uh, there's a high frequency comp switch. Uh, I have it set to the normal mode and I have about nine dBs of attenuation. You could also uh, deactivate the attenuator on the clean channel. So uh, if you want to really crank this channel, you can get that crank sound with the attenuator and have this thing ran wide open. Really cool. So let's just hear uh, the rhythm channel and this is what it sounds like. There's a thing I love about Deluxe Reverbs or that 6v6, it's it, 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 it's not a super powerful amp, so the, the low end isn't as huge as something like a 6L6, but everything kind of like squeezes together and compresses in a really nice way. So even when it's clean, there's still a little bit of mm, something to hang on to. <laughs> There's also a tremolo on this thing, let's hear that. My gosh, let's go to the lead channel. Right now I have the mid bite down, so it's very Tweed Deluxe.
all. When you turn the mid bite, it starts getting nasty. Up next is actually the first uh, Tone King app I've actually ever seen in my life in person. I needed to try this the moment I saw it. It looks like a TV. It's the Falcon Grande. Uh, very similar to the Imperial. It has six V6s. It has the uh, attenuator in the back. Right now I have it at negative three dB of attenuation, uh, but it's a global attenuation. So with the Imperial, you can choose to have it on both channels or just one of them. On this one, it's on all three. So much different. Uh, volume tone, much more straight ahead here, and also uh, reverb and well. So two knob reverb, which is a much more sophisticated circuit. Uh, it doesn't have the tremolo, just, just old school reverb, big fat dials, and a really weird foot switch. Uh, uh, foot switch has a different button for all three voicings, plus a, a reverb button, and it uses the strange four pin XLR. So it's a little bit different than the other amps, which was just a channel and tremolo uh, foot switch, which used the standard TRS cable. So anyway, let's get to work. This is uh, fairly hot. I have the tone up and uh, you can hear the rhythm section and you'll hear immediately, it's a little bit of a different sound. Check this out. can tell it's more of a tweety thing. It has a little bit more fatness, girth, harmonics. Uh, unlike the other amps, which is uh, wired in pentode for the power amps, these power amps are wired in ultra linear, which is a similar thing to like the triode setting. So you'll notice it's just a little softer on the top end, a little bit more full in the low end, very old school, like a suitcase. <laughs> Here's the reverb, really, really lush. Oh my gosh, here is the tweed setting here. Last but not least, the lead channel.
last on the docket is the Sky King. This is the big boy, oh man, and you feel it on the back too when you lift it. Uh, if you look at the Imperial, pretty much the exact same layout on top. Uh, it's kind of going for a lot of the same kind of sounds, but it is the big brother. So instead of six V6s, is using six L6s. So uh, I guess if you think of the uh, Imperial being like a Fender Deluxe, this is kind of like the uh, 112 Vibrolux kind of thing going on over here. Uh, same speaker in uh, this amplifier. And uh, there's also uh, two attenuations. So you could actually have separate attenuators for both channels, which is great for an amp this loud. Right now I have them both at about minus nine dB of attenuation. And uh, you can tell immediately it's a different sound. It, it, it's in the same family, but just the same way uh, a deluxe is, you know, maybe the end is a little bit low ends, a little bit looser, and everything kind of kind of glues together in a different way. This one's all about separation, clarity, and like a really present and firm low end. Just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Gosh, tremolo, but again, the bias tremolo. When you start pushing this amp, you'll notice it's different where a deluxe starts uh, letting that saturation happens. This fights against it in a different kind of way. So you get a lot of clarity and a little bit more grit. <laughs> Not only that, there's also a switch in the back to take it to the ultra linear mode. So uh, we were talking about ultra linear on the Falcon Grande, uh, kind of like a triode thing. It's the same thing. It'll take a little bit of the volume out. It'll kind of round out the top end and make it a little bit more, I don't know, 50s-ish. Just check this out here. Back to pentode mode here, and uh, let's go to that uh, rhythm channel or the lead channel. Here we go. Oh, that's super fuzzy.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. I have to pick one of these uh, amps for the page. So it's gonna be uh, one of the amps that I'm going to be using for a lot of the videos to join the, join the family. And I have to pick which, which one. <laughs> and this is very, very difficult. This is a hard decision. So uh, I'll give you a quick rundown of what I think of each one and then maybe we'll figure out which one I wanna get. Uh, Falcon Grande, man, if you are a blues player or um, an atmospheric player with the ultra linear mode, it kind of softens the highs and expands, uh, the, just rounds everything off in a very pleasing way. Americana music, uh, like I, for some reason, because of that two knob reverb and, and how like encompassing it could be, I keep thinking about like Daniel Lanois or like Bill Frizzell, like that Bill Frizzell tone, that really kind of nostalgic -y, wonderful sound. That's what I'm hearing when I'm hearing uh, this amp over here, the Falcon Grande, the simplified tone stack, uh, beautiful, beautiful amp, awesome. Oh man, great stuff. Uh, both of these amps, again, outstanding. Uh, both channels are completely outstanding. I would be happy with an amp of just one of these channels, to be honest with you. Uh, the big difference between the two, with the 6L6s, more output, a lot, you really feel the low end here. It's a lot more present. I really have to dial it back here. Uh, and it's tight and it's encompassing. This one's a little bit, uh, it doesn't have that tightness and have that, that encompassing feel. But this one, when you start getting and pushing it, all the notes, every, everything just seems kind of like glued in together. Everything is just kind of like part of this wonderful uh, paste that your tone, it's just very nice to play with and the, the way it compresses when you play it, everything's just smooth and very lovely. Where this one, it's clarity and articulation. Uh, you can get ultra linear on this one. Uh, so it could, you can bring it to that territory of the Falcon Grande, which is something I really like on the clean channel. But I have to pick one. So it's, you know what? I, I can't, I, it has to be one of these two. It has to be one of these two. Not to say anything bad about this, but I, you know, for the page here, I got to do a lot of different styles and I got to do a lot of different sounds. So it makes more sense to get one of these two. This is uh, prettier. <laughs> I like the graphics of it. I like the fact that it's so lightweight. This is much heavier. Um, so it's a little bit more uh, uh, obtrusive when I'm moving it around. But again, the ultra linear, the, the fact that I can really get punchy with it, but the, the smoothness of this, I just, I don't know. I don't know. So what I want is I want you to tell me which is the one I should use for the studio. Tell me if I should go for the Imperial or I should go for the Sky King. I think they're both outstanding amplifiers. I can't wait to actually listen back uh, on the audio and hear it myself to help me make that final uh, judgment call. But please, I want you to write in the comment section below which one you think I should go for, or maybe just say, dude, this one was the best one. This is the one you should get. Just let me know right in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching the video. Subscribe to the page if you haven't. Check out the links in the description. Uh, if you uh, want to hear my reviews on anything I demo on the page, it's on Patreon, funded by the Patreon subscribers. All the other videos are here on YouTube. Uh, I want to thank Rufus for sponsoring the whole Showdown series and as well, obviously, Tone King Apps for uh, being such gracious, gracious hosts. Uh, that being said, oh, I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Mm. I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.